Auburn got the big victory last week against Ole Miss at Jordan Harris Stadium. Such a big win for them because they had been going backwards. They had lost three games in a row, and it's a game they just really, really had to have. And you could tell from the opening kickoff they were going to play extremely hard and do anything they could to make this one come out on the winning side, and they did. Uh, things didn't go particularly well early. Uh, they had a chance to get a fumble right off the bat on the opening kickoff and missed it. Ole Miss then drove the length of the field for a touchdown. It looked like it could be another long day for the Tigers, but something just told you they were going to battle with everything they had this game and somehow find a way to win no matter what it took, and that's exactly what happened. Auburn got their offense untracked a little bit again on Saturday. Chris Todd looked better than he had in weeks. Uh, they got uh, some open passes and connected on them. Ben Tate had another good game running. The offensive line blocked well against, let's remember, a very good Ole Miss defense, one of the best front lines in the South Southeastern Conference. So Auburn gets a very positive boost on the offensive side, something they dearly needed, and they did it against a very good football team, a very good, good defensive football team. And so that's got to be a confidence builder for the Auburn offense. The defense also played extremely well against a very, very good Ole Miss offense. They did give up the big touchdown run uh, that got Ole Miss right back in the game. But uh, it was kind of a defense that bent and didn't break most of the game. They played hard. They came up with a couple of interceptions that were huge. Walter McFadden returning one in for a touchdown. So the Auburn defense uh, really came together and played one of their better games. Antonio Coleman for sure had his best game of the season, uh, rushing Jevin Sneed at quarterback and, and just putting all kind of pressure on him. And that's what they got to have out of Coleman uh, for them to have a chance, quite frankly. Of course, uh, Zach Etheridge went down with a neck injury during the game. Everyone knows about that. Uh, the good news is he's out of the hospital. He's uh, not going to play again this season. Don't know if he'll ever play football again. We certainly hope so. But he's on the road to recovery, and it's good to see Zach Etheridge uh, you know, out of the hospital and doing well. That was an awfully frightening situation there when he got injured on the tackle. Now someone's got to step up into his spot. Looks like DeMond Washington's going to get the start, start at that safety position. Washington, a cornerback, going to move over to safety and play there in Etheridge's spot. Um, uh, Mike Slade, who came in and played some uh, in the, uh, once Etheridge got hurt on Saturday, Slade came in and played very well. But it looks like they're going to go with Washington to start. Slade will certainly be counted on. Uh, T. Bell will also get some uh, snaps in the secondary, I'm sure. They're just going to have to move people around. And uh, the secondary, which has been hit hard all year, especially even before the season started with injuries to guys like Aaron Savage uh, and, and McNeil, this, is, this was just a team that could have been very good in the secondary uh, with veterans, but it was depleted awfully early. And now with Zach Etheridge out, they're really hurting. Uh, but, you know, they're just going to have to suck it up and play hard and that's what this Tiger team did last Saturday and now they got a week to kind of work out some kinks before their last two games of the season. Furman comes to town. It's a 12:30 start in Jordan Hare Stadium. There will be no TV for this one except for pay-per-view. You can subscribe and get that. But it's a 12:30 start for homecoming. This is a game Auburn should win fairly easily. It's also a game that they can get these new guys in the secondary some work and uh, continue to work out some things on offense and on the defensive side to get ready for Georgia and Alabama in the final two weeks of the season. So it's Auburn and Furman on homecoming starting at 1231.